Hi, and welcome to Lippy Presents Ghost News Network. Today is our question of the week. Tom, what do you got for us? So my question is, we take it back to our past, and what was your first paranormal experience you ever had? First paranormal? From like in the group? No. Well, well maybe, but... In the, keep it in the group, because I think we've gone through this already, Mr. Tom. I know we've talked about this we before. Have we definitely have. This in, the past. in the group. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> um, shit. Um, me, personally, paranormal experience. I would say, I mean, shit, there's... I, you're talking about over 650 investigations. And I'm trying to think back. I mean, one that would stand, stand out would be, um, I would say, investigating the quad. Uh, building 41, 42, 43 at King's Park Psych Center, which was the first time I was ever in there in 2004. Um, it was a group of us who went there at nighttime. And um, I remember, this is where I used to, we dropped in the basement window, we were in like the basement area, came up on the first floor and we heard, we heard what sounded like a walkie-talkie that wasn't ours in the building. And back then in old floor, people went in there, but it was, it was rare because it, it was still heavily secured. Um, and I remember, you know, walking through and at one point we heard, um, it sounded like, like church bells. Um, it was freaking weird, like a chapel. It was really creepy. And um, I remember just getting, it was just like, you always felt like you were just constantly being watched. We got out. We weren't there for that long. We did hear some banging on the second floor. I remember that. That was kind of crazy. And uh, when we got out, we did some research, and we found out that there was an actual chapel in that building. Um, and we went back like a, a week later, and, we thought there we got a tunnel map and we tried to figure out where the tunnels were. And we just during the daytime we had a team looking out. We went in and uh, it's on video. We have our old high heat camera and we uh, we go through the window. We, you know we go on the first floor. You make the left. You go down the hallway. And we meet another right. You're looking down this this long hallway and it's like mm -hmm. kind of dark and it's light outside. It's a dark hallway and I remember it sounded like banging on the second floor, like almost like when you were at school and they were moving the desks on mm -hmm. the floor, you know, mm -hmm. in the room, like kicking everything aside. That's, what it's, that's how loud it was. It was so loud. And then we kind of like, well, let's just get the hell out of here. So we left, we got out, and we met up with our, our lookout team, which was like kind of on a hill looking over the building. And um, our old, one of our old investigators, Tim, was like, I'm just going to go, I'm going to run there by myself. And I'm going to try to find the tunnel real quick. But we almost knew exactly where it was. He, we didn't want a confirmation. So he's like, he used to run cross country. He was like, super fast, run and run out, you know? So as he, like, he runs down, and as he's about to climb through the, the window of the door, boom! We heard it from where we were. He comes running back. He's like, fuck that! <laughs> and, um, That's amazing. It, it's just, uh, I'll never forget that. You know, it was, it was a pretty, that was probably one of my, first experiences I've had in the field. Um, I'm sure there was a couple prior to that, but that was a big one. That was definitely one that stands out. Mine's uh, week two with the group. Uh, Mount Misery Road, site one. Site one. And uh, we were investigating. It's just a dead end street right next to the old Driftwood Day Camp. Yeah. Actually, it's back. Um, and we were investigating and I was asking EVP questions and all of a sudden I started getting tangling on my arm. I told my group that I was in, and uh, Cheryl, who uh, had the CEM thermometer, yep. scanned my arm, and she was able to detect that the temperature was colder in that spot where I was feeling it than the rest of my arm. And then Rob, who's the co-founder of the team, took a photo, and he's got a picture of a ball of light that's shooting out of my arm. Um, I'm actually not even a huge fan of orbs and stuff like that in, in, in general, but... I, I felt it, I was able to tell them where it was, we were able to pick it up on CEM, and we were able to capture the picture, like it's, it doesn't get much better than that, and, and that was only my second week with this group, and then, but that was, that was my first paranormal experience within the team, and it was pretty wild, and, and that stuff led to my obsession with that location, yep. so...
Yeah. So, mine would probably be with the group. I would say one of our Rogers Mansion events. I think this was, I want to say January of 2019, somewhere, probably somewhere around there. One of the earlier ones that it did. Okay. But, um, I've been with the group for a while now, and I wouldn't call myself sensitive or anything in any way. Right. And I would always be grouped up with people, and we would walk into a location, and everyone would say, oh, it feels quiet, or it feels heavy, feels really heavy, and I just, I never understood what that meant mm -hmm. until this Rogers Mansion that we did. And it was... I guess it must have been really active or something, but we were in the basement of Roger's mansion, and I just felt something calling to me in the back crawl space, and I was like, just my instincts told me I want to, I want to go check it out. Right, right. And then I finally, like, after sitting back there for a little bit, I realized, like, I think this is what the heaviness <laughs> that people are like yeah. feeling. Like, yeah. is this what it? feels like and I started feeling like chills and I thought something like grabbed me at one point and that moment stands out to me because it's the first time in the field that I really understood this is what everyone's feeling this right. instinctual right. thing of something is here with me mm -hmm. whether it's trying to get my attention or wants me out or whatever something is here with me and I will I'll always remember that feeling. So. I remember that when you crawled in that crawl space. Yes. I wasn't going to mention I that I crawled I, I in. It was, that. It was me crawling into yeah, a crawl I space with that. the back corner. Because I remember when you came out, you were like, you had all like dirt uh, on you. And I was like, what the hell happened to you? And I was, you were like, just, oh, I crawled in there. I'm like, what? <laughs> they just summed them on like, me in there. Dude, you got balls on you, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I do that stuff. We've gone and not come back out, by the way. Oh, yeah. God. Yeah. I think we're assuming about the spiders in there. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, they were <laughs> what about you? Uh, mine was my first investigation with the group was a couple weeks after I joined, we did a house investigation and we uh, we did an echo box section. Echo box session. Uh -huh. And I think it was you, I think you asked the question, can you tell us any of our names? Uh, yeah. And sure enough it said Tom. Mm -hmm. And that was and I still remember like when I started, you know, my first night you said you know, when you join this group, you will have an experience. Mm -hmm. You don't know when, but you will have an experience. Right. And at that point, I was, you know, very skeptical. I'm like, all right, yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Like, you know. Yep. So, you know, take the echo box for what it is, but to on my first investigation, to hear my name come through that thing yeah. after a direct question asking for it, that was pretty cool. Yep. I was That was pretty much it for me. I was, right. I was sold. Yeah. So. yeah, I mean, I, that's what I tell you when we first started. I'm like, you know, we, we don't fake stuff. We don't need to, you yeah. know. It'll, it'll happen. You'll get an experience eventually, whether it be, you know, two days from now or two years from now. You'll get it. And then, because we don't fake stuff, it's that much more genuine. You, you'd never forget that. You know, you're going to be 80 years old and you remember that shit, talking about that shit in the retirement home. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I'm going to be able to learn about it. It's yeah. funny because Connor, when I didn't know this at first, but Connor was talking about that, like, he, when he joined the group. Because we were doing the Rogers events with yeah. his, with his, yeah. with the Southampton. Yeah. He said it. I, I never heard that before. You never heard. He says it every single oh, time. I had no uh, idea. The reason like when we're in a group small, was to spy on us to see yeah. if we were legit or not. <laughs> yeah, when we're in a small group together, that's the first thing he yeah. introduces himself. Yeah, is, right. yeah, so I realistically just joined this group just to spy on them, and uh, well, they're not faking. Uh, <laughs> so it's like that's when he got hooked. <laughs> oh, yeah, right, right. Because it's you know. It, it, there's a lot of investigations where we, we go out and nothing happens. You know, I, I was just talking to you oh, about it. Um, yeah. Two weeks ago, we were at Alms House Cemetery. You know, uh -huh. it was me, you, and Michelle. And it was dead quiet. Oh, yeah. Dead quiet. But you know what? It was such a, a solid investigation where, you know, and, and even though doing this 17 and a half years, you know, and James, you've been in the group for, been in the group for a while, but yeah. like solid. Like full time member for full what time. maybe year and a year half. and a half now. About that. And, and out of nowhere, you're just like, "Hey, why don't we all have a camera?" And we're like, "He's like, why don't we all take a picture exactly at the same time?" And it was all three different types of cameras. Yeah. And I'm like, "We've never done that. In Seventeen and a half years. Like, shit. Why not?" And then Michelle's like, "Have you ever taken a picture of each other?" I'm like, "It probably won't work well, but why the hell not?" You know, like, 
it's just different tactics and different things that we try, you know, and it was like, yeah, nothing happened. It was a quiet night, you know, but it, it was it was an invest a solid investigation. And that's you gain experience that way. And just you don't need to have you know, have to have something happen all the time, you know, just just roll solid it. It's, it's experience. experience. You have five investigations that you don't get anything, well okay, that's fine, but it's five investigations that means your belt. You know, that, that's five more than you had before. That's how I look at it, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we did the same thing at all at Alms House. We were taking yeah. photos, but I did I did you know, I want to take a picture of you. Do you mind? You know, that's mm -hmm. usually what I do. Right, stuff right. like that too. Mm -hmm. but that's cool. Right. I mean, even those ones that don't have anything. I mean, we have a piece of equipment. We've got the HTL proximity sensor. Right. Every time that doesn't go off, when that thing finally goes off, it, yeah, and it's, so know, it's, it's like, like it's, yeah. that's it. You should sure. get scratch in your head. You the know, the exactly. same thing with the so. paranormal music box. No. I. The first day we had it, it would go, it went off on that first investigation nonstop in response to question. And I was like, and eh, probably not. I think it's maybe gone off, what, twice since then? Once? Yeah. If that? Yeah, very few. And months. that makes that yeah. first time where it was going off like, wow, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Yeah. So, anybody else have anything to add? What do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below, and if you haven't yet, give this video a like, share, and subscribe, or you can go click, click the little notification bell to know all of that content is uploaded to YouTube. So thank you guys again for joining us, and until next time, there's too much sugar in this Mountain Dew. <laughs>